This video will provide a brief demonstration of the workflow to import a tunnel design. The imported tunnel will also have an arbitrary alignment assigned to it that we will have to replace with an existing alignment. We're going to start out with some existing tutorial data where we already have a road alignment created. We're going to insert a tunnel on top of this road alignment. Remember from earlier that we can use any existing alignment to attach our tunnel corridor to. We'll go ahead and start with importing some data. So we have a TXL that has our tunnel design information uh, that we worked with previously. So we'll go ahead and just drag and drop that into TVC. We could also use the import button and navigate to the file if we wanted to. We can see here our project automatically zooms to the extents. We have our original road alignment up here and we have our new tunnel alignment down here. We can open up the corridors tab and we can see we have a road corridor and a tunnel corridor existing in the same project. I'll go ahead and create a tunnel mesh so we can see our visual representation of the tunnel in plan view. We can see it there and we'll open up the properties of this tunnel corridor. We can see that the alignment currently assigned to it is tutorial tunnel. So we can go ahead and look at that by editing it. And we can see the start of that alignment is zero, 0 northing, 0 easting. If we look at the main alignment, this is the existing road alignment in the project, we can see it has a northing easting of around 10,000. So we can go ahead and close these. What we want to do here is actually delete this alignment from the project as we want to use our existing road alignment. So when we do that, we see that our mesh disappears. It no longer has anything that ties it to a location in the plan view, so it can't exist. If we zoom extents, we'll see we just have our original road. And now if we go into our tutorial tunnel corridor again, we can see the horizontal alignment is blank. But we can go ahead and assign that main alignment, that road alignment to it. And we'll see that also associates it with a vertical alignment. And finally, we can also see that our tunnel has now been overlaid on top of this road alignment that we had before.